the priests, Aaron's sons, shall bring the blood and sprinkle the blood all around on the altar that is by the door of the tabernacle of meeting. Leviticus 1, 5. The burnt offering, 3. The functions of Aaron's sons. A special point of the burnt offering is the place which Aaron's sons get and the functions assigned them therein. They sprinkle the blood, they put the fire upon the altar, they lay the wood in order upon the fire, they lay the parts, the head and the fat, in order upon the wood that is on the fire which is on the altar. Verse 6 to 7. These are very prominent actions, and they form a marked feature of the burnt offering, as contrasted with the sin offering in which Aaron's sons are not mentioned at all. The sons of Aaron represent the church, not as one body, but as a priestly house. This is easily apprehended. If Aaron was a type of Christ, then Aaron's house was a type of Christ's house, as we read in Hebrews 3.6. But Christ as a son over his own house, whose house we are. And again, behold, I and the children whom the Lord hath given me, Isaiah 8, 18, KJV. Now, it is the privilege of the church as led and taught by the Holy Spirit to gaze upon and delight in that aspect of Christ which is presented in this opening type of Leviticus. Our fellowship is with the Father, 1 John 1, 3, who graciously calls us to participate with him in his thoughts about Christ. True, we can never rise to the height of those thoughts, but we can have fellowship therein by the Holy Spirit who dwells in us. It is not here a question of having the conscience tranquilized by the blood of Christ as the sin bearer, but of communion with God in the matter of Christ's perfect surrender of himself on the cross. C.H. McIntosh now in him, our God and Father, sharers of thy love are we, now partaking with our Saviour his unceasing rest in thee. W. Kelly